Good morning, cop sellers, and welcome back to the vanity. I'm always thinking about you. Oh, thinking about you. Always thinking about you. Guys, it has been a hot minute since I've done a makeup anything on this channel, but your girl's back in town. The vanity, it, it's been here the whole time, and we're gonna keep doing it. Today, we're gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine, which has changed kind of a lot since when I used to do makeup routines, mostly because I've learned like the correct way to do things. I'm no expert, but I will say I have come a long way from just putting a bunch of bronzer all over my face and not knowing the names of the brushes. Nothing I do in makeup makes sense, so I just wanna throw that out there. Let's just do it. Why am I holding this? <laughs> Feels nice. The very first thing that I do before I get started is put chapstick on because you know me, I'm obsessed with freaking chapstick. Second thing I do is my eyebrows. I just try to find this brush that I always lose like literally every single time I try to do my makeup. Ah, spoolie. Take my little spoolie brush and I brush my eyebrows up. That's all that I do for right now, but we will come back to them like at the very end. Eyebrows are important. They tell a lot about a person. Okay, second thing I do is my eyes. My everyday routine is it's very simple, very neutral looking because I'm basic. I take my fluffy brush. I don't know the name of it. If you do, comment down below. This is actually a contour. This brush isn't very, what's the word? This brush doesn't make the brown color show up brown. It kind of just gives me a base with a little bit of color. And I just swoop that all, swoop it? I swoop it all up in my lids. As you can see, it's a really fluffy brush. There's no crazy color showing up there. Mm. Sweet. I always use the Charlotte Tilbury little four palette. So I think I'm gonna go with like the honey gold color. And I take a brush that looks like this. Well, look at me go. I do the lightest color all up above my lid. So kind of into the eyebrow. There's really no color to it. Just kind of a shimmer. Then, oh, aggressive. I take another brush that is a little bit more, I think the word is dense. We're gonna call it dense. And I go in with this gold-ish color. And I use this brush because I want the color to show up more. The other brushes give me like a light coverage. This one you can actually see the color. And I put this over my lids. And I just kind of go for it until I feel like I'm golden enough. This could take weeks, years, but we're just gonna do it quick. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I take that fluffy brush that I use to start my makeup with and I kind of just like blend it in. Boom, boom, boom. Then the next thing I do is my foundation. I use this Giorgio. This Giorgio Armani foundation, the luminous silk in a number seven. And I put that on my handy dandy hand. Oh, I'm running out. Shit. And I take this side of my beauty blender and kind of just like put it on everywhere on my face. I ain't trying to come between. I'm just thinking by your Saturday. So I just kind of put that everywhere. I like this foundation because it's light, but if you want to go harder, party. <laughs> if you want to go harder with it, you can. You just have to layer it and it'll work. But I typically just do one layer if I'm doing every day. If I'm going out, I definitely do two or three. And I use a mixture of different brushes to make it look more prominent. So I just blend this, blend, 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 blend. Blah, 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 blah. This one feels nice. You guys use beauty blenders, comment down below. It literally feels like a nice little just like pillow for your face. Like, also, I wash my beauty blender every day with Dial Gold Soap, 99.9 .9 antibacterial because I don't like germs. And I always, always use like a, I'm not gonna say the M word, a damn. Stop! I see some of my friends do their, what was that? <laughs> I see some friends do their makeup with a dry beauty blender and I've tried that before and I look like a clown, so. <laughs> Once that's evened out, I do my concealer because I personally don't like the look of like the white under eye, but I think it looks really cool to other people. I just don't think I can pull it off. So I literally do just like a tiny bit right here on my forehead. Oh my God, Coachella makeup. Mm. And a little bit on my lip and a little bit on my chin. So this is what it looks like before I blend it in. Super cute. <laughs> Maybe I should start this trend. And I just take the beauty blender again. I use this end of it. Beep, 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 beep. So yeah, that kind of just like concealed underneath my eyes, highlighted the areas of my face that I like to be highlighted. After that, what do I f 
do. We go back to this Charlotte Tilbury little highlight palette. By highlight, I mean highlight and contour because if I was contouring with highlight, I would look like a tin man. It's a Morphe brush. Actually, this is from James's PR kit. I love this brush. And I contour my face, but I don't do it crazy. I do my cheekbones. I do a little bit underneath my chin. I literally hate doing my makeup with jewelry. I was just trying to look fancy for you guys, but God, it drives me nuts. I do a little bit up here on my forehead. I had a dream last night, you guys, that I was pregnant. And I had three kids, but they weren't kids. Like, it was weird. Like, I had the babies, but like, the babies looked... I can't really explain it. They were like animals. I don't know what the right toy word is, but like, one was ended up being a dog. And one was like... I lost one. And then I went to jail in my dream, so that was weird. I do a little bit of highlight on both of the sides of my nose. Mm -hmm. And that's it for that. Then I use my beauty blender again. What would I do without you? Ugh. So I take my beauty blender, put some of this translucent powder. I use a Laura Mercier one. And I go underneath my eyes where I conceal. My Aunt Tina taught me how to do this. I literally, you guys, used to do my makeup. You guys have seen my videos. I would take one brush. Well, first of all, I put concealer on first. Oh, that's fun. And then I would take a fluffy brush and just bronzer my whole face and put mascara on. <laughs> I'm sorry to the world. And then also, I have very oily skin. Blessing for when I'm older, curse for right now. This step has helped me a lot when it comes to like the shininess of my face. So then I just kind of wait for this. There's no like logistics on how long to wait. I kind of just like give it a minute. Then I take this brush and I just kind of like sweep this off my face. Sweep, sweep, sweep. It's like a vacuum for your face. I can really tell a big difference in my makeup once that step is over. I feel like my face looks a lot more matte and a lot just like an airbrushy look. I highly recommend doing that step. Then after that, I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills 823 brush. That was professional. And I also take my Anastasia Beverly Hills whatever it's this highlighter i freaking love highlight and i just highlight my cheekbones put it on the tip of my nose i rub it i brush it over my lips right there i normally take my finger and i just kind of brush it over like the ends of my eyebrows and sometimes if we're getting frisky like i am right now i will take this little charlotte tilbury brush the very dense brush dip it in here and put it in the corners of my eyes because why not? Once that's over with, I make sure it's blended because I have like gone overboard with highlighter where it literally looks like I just have like a streak of just like shine. And yeah, I just like the way these feel on my face. Then after that, I go back to the palette I used for my eyes at the beginning. I take the same gold color that I used on my lids. I go under my eyelids. When I get married, my husband's gonna have to listen to me sing to myself while doing makeup, so that's cute. Once that's over, you can kind of see there. It's time for setting spray. I love this one. It's the All Nighter by Urban Decay. They actually sent me my own personalized one with my name on it before, but my mom stole it when we were in Orlando. So Angel, if you're watching, give it back. I have like five backup ones, just not with my name on it. So we're just gonna do it. I really like this part. Though. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite parts. Then after that, I take obviously, if you guys have been following me, my favorite mascara in the entire world. No free brand deals, but also a free brand deal. And I just go ham. That you'd rather be alone with mascara gives you power. Your thoughts, not I don't ever put bottom lash mascara on during the day, but I almost always do at night. Comment down below if you guys want to see like a, a night out look because I get pretty frisky with those. I even know how to use false lashes now. I know, crazy. Look at this mascara. Bro, that changed my whole look just with a couple strokes. Again, I'm working on the terms. So once that's over, I take my little spoolie once again and I just brush them up one more time. I've been really into this boy brow lately because that's a little bit of a tint, but also too, I have a clean clear gel. It really just depends on the color eyeshadow I do. Today I'm gonna do the clear one, but if I ever have like a little bit of a darker shadow on it, I always use the tinted one because it looks more bold. I've been really into lip liner. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's a very neutral color. It really just kind of intensifies the color of my lip already. And then I kind of just like push it up and push it down. <laughs> I just blend it would be the correct term. I top it off with more chapstick. I'm trying to think if there's anything else.
And yeah guys, that's literally it for my everyday makeup look. Like I said, it's really simple. And I don't know what you guys like, but I really think there's just something nice about a fresh face, like not super caked on during the day. Comment down below if you want to see any more makeup routines. Like I said, this is just like a really basic daytime. But before we go, don't forget, second is coming out this coming Friday. This coming Thursday, there will be a live stream on my YouTube channel promoting the song. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Basically, we're gonna have like a little party and you guys can join. And that's about it. I'm gonna go do a fitting now and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I should maybe change the outro.